Well, hello. This is very much a long time no see kind of situation. Ironically, the last time I made a video like this about perseverance and vision, whatever concepts I had of those things utterly evaporated throughout the year of 2020. When was it? June, I think, that I last made a video like this. Here's the part where I cut in unceremoniously and say, if you like the video, please like it and consider subscribing to my channel. I know it's insufferable. I know that literally every creator, every size, puts this call to action out there somewhere, but really getting traction on this platform with the way the algorithm is now is almost impossible if you don't. So please consider doing that. And uh, yeah, let's get back to where we were. I think a whole lot of why my perseverance and vision utterly disappeared is because the things that I thought were going to hold out and allow me to really properly persevere, I thought that they would be a lot more persistent. I thought that the, the why, the essence of those things would be more quintessential and personal to my identity, but as it turns out, they weren't. I think the only things I could have pointed to a year ago that helped me persevere were that I wanted to be a really good musician or that I wanted to be the best version of myself or whatever banal thing you could think of. Not that those are bad things, but they weren't things that I could specifically tie to myself as a person. They're just basic things that any self-respecting person ought to want. And if you happen to be a person that's been watching my channel within the last couple of weeks, you would know that I've uploaded something almost every single day. And that's because my perseverance and my vision, which is to say the fuel to the fire giving me the ability to carry out those things where I find myself in life, they've really changed. And a lot of it has to do with my grandmother, Jan Ogden Reynolds, who passed away early this last month. It was actually the morning before Easter. And for a long time, while I didn't consciously realize it, it was very important to me that I became something or made something of myself musically while still alive here on this earth. And because I've always been a naive, idealistic kind of person, my notion of being something or becoming something was always very unrealistic. It was like, I want her to see me play solo on Carnegie Hall stage, which, yeah, may be humanly possible. I'm not going to say that I'm talentless, but I think time has proven that I'm not quite as industrious either musically or just with my time as my ego ever would have led me to believe. I'm just me. I'm not particularly special. I'm not particularly hardworking. But the knowledge that there is so much I could have done with myself had I been a more conscientious steward of my time is making me want to be all the more that as time marches on. Because while my grandmother was here on this earth, I always loved her. I always did everything that I could for her when I was there, but I wasn't there as much as I could have been. While I'm not gonna say that I think there's any value in trying to beat myself up and saying that there is no value in continuing to do this and that that dream has died just because she has gone before me, it's because of that, rather, 
that I believe there is value in trying to be as present as I can, in trying to persevere as much as I can with these efforts. Because even if I never got to make her proud in my old naive, idealistic notion of what would have made her proud, I think that just continuing to do this and doing the things that are important to me in the hopes that I can do something, even if it's of the tiniest value for other people, I think that would make her proud. I've been told by the people close to me in my life that I make them proud with whatever little things I do here and there. And if continuing to do this can hopefully, in whatever way, give something of meaning to other people, things that they can derive their own meaning, their own substance from. If that should be the case, I think that persevering in this way and in these efforts is a worthwhile thing. If you've watched all the way to the end to this, I hope that you might like to be a part of this little journey. I have no idea where it will go, and truthfully, I have almost no idea what I'm doing, other than I'm doing something. I'm just trying to do the few things that I happen to be good at. And for whoever watches and sees any of this, make of it all what you will. I hope you have a wonderful day, and take care. Until next time.